none of my family wanted me. So I was literally about to live on the street. At that point, I knew I wasn't gonna pass high school. Like I was planning on dropping out. The place I came from is really not a safety place because, you know, sometimes the Boko Haram always attack people at night, so people doesn't even sleep at home. I come from like a big family, but like small income. I've seen the difference like in the standard of education I get from here. If you could rescue children from desperate situations all over the world, where would you take them? To a place where they can feel safe and loved. A place where they can receive an outstanding education. A place where they can grow spiritually. That place is Mountain Mission School in Grundy, Virginia. For nearly a century, Mountain Mission School has been a lifeline for children needing a sanctuary. Whether due to the loss of parents, devastating poverty, or dangerous situations, children who have no hope have always found a welcoming home at Mountain Mission. We'd like you to meet just a few of the remarkable students here. Selena was lifted from extreme poverty in Atlanta, and now with her brothers and sisters, she enjoys the security of Mountain Mission School, where she also discovered a gift for singing. Mountain Mission rescued Nelson from the streets of Roanoke, Virginia, and now he plans to be a minister. Hansel from Columbia, South America, discovered that Mountain Mission allowed him to channel his basketball skills into a college scholarship. Ike came to Mountain Mission from Nigeria and became not only an athlete, but also an artist and a hero to the art students he encourages every day as an art teacher's assistant. Ebenezer was homeless in Washington, D.C. at the age of five, the child of refugees from Kenya. He became an Eagle Scout at Mountain Mission School and now attends Dartmouth on a full academic scholarship. Mercy escaped from terrorist kidnappers in Africa, and today she's working to attend college and hopes someday to return to her home country to help others. These are just a few examples of what disadvantaged kids can achieve when given love, security, and opportunity. Next year I'm going to an Ivy League school because of my mission. Rather than having to protect ourselves here, uh, we can <laughs> develop ourselves. There's no excuse not to succeed given all we have. The little kids can become, during the time they spend my mission, they can become big, like they can do big things. In its many decades of operation, MMS has been home to more than 20,000 kids and it has existed entirely on the generous donations of churches, organizations, and people like you. Every year, we must be prepared to meet all the needs of more than 200 children. Everything from clothing and toothbrushes to school supplies and athletic equipment. It costs about $15,000 per year to feed, house, and educate each student, and Mountain Mission accepts no government funding. We rely completely on donors like you. Your support can help transform a frightened, despairing child into a confident, productive citizen. There are many ways to help. You can sponsor a child entirely for $15,000 a year, or you can help support one or more kids with a regular, ongoing gift of $30 per month per child, just a dollar a day. You also can include Mountain Mission in your estate planning, or simply make a one-time gift. Whichever you choose, every dollar of your gift will be carefully used for the direct care, education, and support of our kids, with just 4% going to fundraising. What's more, you'll discover the personal satisfaction of changing lives and igniting dreams. I'm hoping to be a, a preacher. I'm going to college and then going to seminary. I want to be a doctor to know more about medicines. Before I came, I just wanted to play basketball. And now I think like I'm going to do that because I have a purpose. I know that there were some days I just came out on the playground and I sat down and just looked at where I was. And I, it just got me to reflect on like 
what life should be like with the way people get along with each other. I just felt like if everyone could get along with each other the way we do in school here, I don't think the world would have a problem. We're sheltering children from across the country and around the globe here in the mountains of Virginia. Won't you please help us care for them? As you consider that question, take just a moment to pause and think, what could possibly be a more meaningful use of your resources?